we first got into the White House, uh, I met Charlie, who was telling me about uh, the bees uh, that he kept at his house. It really came together fast from there, and we got it in here in late March, and it's been doing good ever since. Curators have told me as well that they researched it somewhat, and they can't find any evidence of a hive here in the past. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to have the first one here for sure. You know, bees are obviously essential to the process of growing food, being key pollinators. And so for kids who are coming uh, to visit the garden to learn about these topics, it was a great opportunity to show them the whole, the whole cycle and process. So the day we harvested was just a, a, a wonderful day and really exciting. Charlie started off by smoking the bees out, uh, which is, you know, old school. When you put a couple puffs of smoke here at the entrance of the hive, it causes the guard bees to not be able to, to communicate as well, because a lot of the communication in the hive is by the sense of smell. I mean, there, there's something a little disconcerting about, you know, being surrounded by thousands and thousands of bees. There are probably at least 70,000 bees in this hive. He, pull, he pulled out each tray of, of, of comb and they blew off all the bees from each tray. You just blow them on out of there and they fly on back up into the hive. The first harvest we did last year, we did it pretty early. We pulled out 12 capped frames. And then brought that into the White House and when we got in here, just cut open the comb, just the very top layer puts it in, in this machine that, with a hand crank, you spin really fast. And uses centrifugal force to sling the honey out of the cells. So we went ahead, we extracted that way. And you end up having like a big old bucket of honey. We go ahead and let it settle for at least a week, I like to, gets it nice and clear. Then, after that's been done, it's ready to put into bottles, containers, whatever size you want to do.